1968 No S Dime is among the most elusive of the coveted No S proof issues of various denominations. Only the 1975 No S Roosevelt Dime issue is rarer. It was also the first No S issue of the modern era, and one for which no records are available. It is estimated that no more than a couple of dozen were struck, and cameo examples are the rarest graded. Deep cameo pieces are almost unheard of. This gleaming example is well contrasted and shows no more than a trace of rose color on either side. A single tick on President Roosevelt's cheek is apparently all that precludes a PR69 grade. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons below this video to help us reach more viewers. This superb gem ended up selling for $30,550 at heritage auctions. This is 1948 Lincoln and Cent in Mint State 67. The 1948 Philadelphia Mint issue is among the 1940s Lincoln issues that turned conventional wisdom on its head. The branch mint issues are conditionally rarer than P mints. The Philadelphia Mint struck a huge pile of coins, more than 317 million, in 1948 that most have quality problems or one kind or another. In addition, their perception as common coins in the pre-certification decades caused collectors to toss or spend even mid-state examples. This piece displays brick-rich surfaces that are satiny, fully lustrous, and free of mentionable distractions. Sold for $10,281.25 at heritage auctions. Moving on to the East 1935 Washington Court where in Mint State 68, this piece displays brilliant, vibrant mint luster and sharp strike, exceptionally pleasing eye appeal. The 1935 Washington Court where in Mint State 68 is very rare and valuable coin. It's considered one of the finest examples of the Washington Quarter coin, with very few known to exist at this high grade level. The MS 68 grade indicates that the coin is in near perfect condition with no visible wear or damage, and has a very high level of eye appeal. It was sold for $5,760 at heritage auctions. This is 1962 Lincoln Cent in Mint State 67 plus red condition. Any full red superb gem is rarity and only a few have achieved the coveted plus designation. This piece is boldly struck with gleaming copper orange luster and no carbon spotting. It was sold for $4,817.50 at heritage auctions. And this 1977 D. Jefferson Nickel with full steps, graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS. Full steps is a designation used for Jefferson Nickels which refers to the steps on the reverse of the coin. To receive this designation, each step on Monticello building must be fully visible and defined. The 1977 nickel is not considered rare, but the MS67 plus grade with full steps is a highly sought after coin, especially for collectors of Jefferson nickels. This superb gem ended up selling for $4,973.62 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next episode. Do you want to sell your coins, paper money, notes, valuable bills and stamps online? You can publish your ads for free on our website, thecoinas.com. For mobile users it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinas app.